This program is brought to you by Emory University. I would have to say the philanthropy of those uh, who have been really successful with their education, really successful in their careers, it, it means more than they could possibly imagine to struggling students who, who have, you know, the effort and, you know, the ability to do the work, but they may not have the resources. It's essentially, you know, changing the statistics of the situation, which is if you are below a certain income, an education is almost impossible. And in a way, you are changing that individual's fate, or what, what should happen to them. And if enough people do that, then we can make education something that's not just a privilege, but a right. I wouldn't have, like I said, ever dreamed up a job like the one that I have now. Um, I would not have even thought that I would, um, you know, be uh, getting a PhD someday, except that there were people who believed in me um, and people who knew more, who saw me and took an interest in me uh, and kind of pointed me in the right direction. Um, people who uh, gave of themselves in some way um, to create that bridge for me to get to my future um, in a way that I couldn't have envisioned for myself. Within 48 hours, I was diagnosed with squamous cell cancer um, in my throat. And within the next 24 hours, my husband was diagnosed with acute um, lymphoblastic leukemia. So it's one thing to hear, oh, you have cancer, but 24 hours later to hear that your spouse has cancer, it was devastating. It was very important to have that impassion and caring that we received, uh, speaking for both of us here at Emory. They have me in remission now, and both of us in remission, and, and they were very compassionate uh, to us. Uh, it's a bridge to life for me. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.